Yo, what's up guys? I'm Cool Leader, and in this video I'm going to cover how to get better at keyboard and mouse. Thank you guys so much for the support here recently. We just hit over 35 subscribers and we're growing so fast. If you are new, make sure you subscribe with noties on so you don't miss any of my high quality videos just for y'all. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so let's go over what makes someone good at Fortnite. The first thing is mechanics. Mechanics are everything that can be improved with muscle memory. This includes aim, building, editing, piece control, and finally movement. All five of these things can be improved simply by practicing them a lot. Like anything, the more practice you get, the better you will get at them. This is because you will be building muscle memory, allowing you to over time practice them less. But let's cover how you should be practicing them so that you can get the best results. Okay, so for building, editing, and piece control, all three of these things can be practiced within your own creative map. All you have to do is start free building. Free building is the building whatever you want, maybe some high ground retakes, and even just tarping and wall replacing. All these things will allow you to increase your muscle memory, so I recommend building and creative for at least 30 minutes to get the best results. You also want to make sure that you have decent keybinds so that I can make a video about that if you want. So make sure you subscribe and comment down below if you want that. But if you have bad keybinds, it's going to be much harder to get better fast. Now for movement and aim. Aim is probably the hardest to get better at because it not only takes muscle memory but also takes a lot of hand-eye coordination. Luckily, you can practice both of them in in-game trainers. I recommend the Scovax map because it's the most up to date with horizontal vertical tracking and uh, everything like that. But in fact most pros don't actually aim train. This is because they already have muscle memory and good hand eye coordination so they just have to warm it up each day and fine tune it as they play more often. Okay, so for movement, I recommend uh, going into creative and while free building, just practice your movement. Pay attention to how you're moving and you can do things like uh, side jumping and cone jumping. And then if you even want to, you can go the next step and try doing death runs because these are very important when it comes to movement. Okay, now it's time for the second thing that makes people good at Fortnite, game sense. Game sense is how smart you are as a player meaning how much you know about the game and this is super important because in Fortnite if you know some super broken wall exploit you'll be able to beat any player basically so you might be asking how do you actually get better at game sense you can get better at game sense by playing more often recording fights and watching them back this is called VOD reviewing and finally by watching pro players and analyzing what they do right and what they do wrong you also need to be ready to analyze what you do right and wrong as a player. Then apply what you're doing right to every fight in, that you take and you'll win more often. Some things are like when you should drop down an opponent's wall and when you should stay on high ground. Applying these and uh, fights that you win will allow you to win more fights because you'll know exactly what to do right. You might be good at something but you need to realize what you're not good at and improve that the most. instantly become a better mouse and keyboard player the only way you can become a better player is by getting muscle memory which takes lots of practice like I've covered and then also becoming a smarter player if you apply what I've said in this video you I'm 100% sure over time you will become a better player and can win more fights it's that simple Go ahead and comment down below telling me how long you've currently been playing on mouse and keyboard because I would love to know and if you want to we can have a discussion about how to get better. I'm always willing to talk to my viewers 100% of the time and I love having and growing a community. You guys that subscribe to my channel honestly make my day and if you want to ever hit me up on Twitter, if you want to have a conversation or anything like that, my Twitter is at kool Aid on 6 fps and guess what guys, soon I'll be getting a PC for Christmas. So if you want to hear about if a PC is better than a console, I'm going to do a whole review on it. I'm also going to do a video about if you should be switching to PC. Not keyboard and mouse specifically, but just PC, like if it's worth it. I'm going to have a lot of content based around that. 
So make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for you for watching the video. Have a great day.